Hi, it's Sonia. It's the second day of the conference. I'm here in the dessert room. We want to miss dessert. And uh, I'm going to try to attend this session called Energy, Sustainable Development, and Biological Diversity. Here's the blurb from the flyer. Growing demand and calls for a green energy supply are redefining the global energy system. It's a balance between energy efficiency goals, economic growth, and environmental objectives achievable. Which alternative sources of energy will power greener urban and interurban transportation? How will it be financed? Private capital, carbon taxes, or other means? So we, we attended that lecture. They had several speakers. Uh, my favorite one was uh, Keith Cooley, President and CEO of Next Energy from the United States. He was very charming and charismatic, a very good speaker. But what I enjoyed even more was how ridiculous his message was. <laughs> okay, um, I should tell you a little bit about what he said. Uh, so he starts out talking about Michigan. Michigan's role in economic meltdown, uh, GM, how one-eighth of American payrolls were affected. Uh, now in Detroit, they have 40% unemployment. Four out of five uh, teenagers don't graduate high school. Um, they're talking about uh, green energy and green energy jobs, how it has created 110,000 new jobs and could create 100,000 more, which is really kind of a drop in the bucket, though, if you think about it. And they could, at the same time, could eliminate carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and create employment. It's win-win. It says, people are not motivated. They're still leaving their lights on. You got the high cost of carbon and the high stock prices for unhealthy things. Uh, will people be willing to give up the things they like? Well, we knew that that's good, where this is going to head to um, Decrease in the quality of life, having to give things up. And he said, you need to make life learning a requirement. Okay, okay this was my absolute favorite part. Why are there no aliens? <laughs> he says, SETI has never found alien life. Now there are three possibilities. A, maybe the aliens came here and thought we were too dumb. Or B, maybe the aliens came here and thought we were too dangerous, so they left. Or C, maybe millions of life forms grew out of the mud and were on the verge of space travel, but then their technical prowess outran their social sense and they killed themselves off. So in other words, the reason there's no ev evidence, the reason there's no evidence of alien life here is because aliens don't exist, because they got too technological and they died. <laughs> so the moral of the story is don't, don't be like the aliens. You have to do something now about global warming and carbon dioxide in the air. <laughs> Karen doesn't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> Solution. Green technology. We must share our wealth with the third world and have clean energy for sale. Uh, the community will have to understand the value of sacrifice and pressure the governments to do the right thing. Just that their definition of the right thing isn't the same as ours. <laughs> yes, it was a very emotional speech, and at the end, he exhorted everyone to, 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 to become, become the generation that found the solution to climate change. <laughs> right? So that our grandchildren can have, can have a safe, ha comfortable habitat. So we don't regret it later on when we, 50 years down the road, and see that, that this man was right because he kept emphasizing that in 50 years from now, we'll look back on this day and remember what he said. <laughs> yeah, that we made it happen so that we don't end up like the aliens, because they blew it. Okay, now we're really infiltrating the big time. <laughs> Karen, how do, you, how do you like this party? It's wonderful, they have a great band playing. Talk about chemtrails and throw you out. You'll be, you'll get busted. It's okay. It's mitigate global warming. Uh oh. I think the brainwashing has been working. 